Today I'm going to show you how to do some really cool text effects. Um, it's really, really easy and simple to do once you got a really good uh, texture uh, finalized. So what we have on the screen is my name, Pashi, okay, and um, just regular type, um, nothing extravagant. Um, you can play with uh, different type of text and see what your effects are, but this is just the basic uh, tutorial. So I created a texture already, um, pre-made, as you can see here. It's kind of covering and hovering over my text. So what we're going to do is go back to the text Pashi, and we're going to use W, which is wand. And we're going to select individual parts and create a hole. So hold down shift and click each individual letter. <clears throat> and there's many ways you can auto select, but that's the way I choose to do it. And then you go back to your texture and then uh, do right click. And you'll see this via layer via copy. So you're going to click that and then take off the original texture. And boom, we have the texture over the original text. So here you can actually uh, have the fun with and duplicate it and go into blending mode and add a drop shadow to it. Play with the different uh, sizing and spread and distance and so forth. You can do an outer glow, um, an inner glow to give it some more oomph to it. Okay, um, Even a satin kind of feel and satin gives it a uh, that kind of button mouse look, so um, depending on your settings, you can uh, really create some cool, cool stuff here. Again, gradient, you can give a gradient kind of flow. Um, so it's pretty much up to you on how to um, work the actual atmosphere. So let's say you're kind of happy with that, we're going to duplicate it again. And um, this time what I want to do is create a layer mask, go back into gradient, and let's do multiply to make it really, really dark. And so to add a little bit of shadowing, click into the mask layer option and um, kind of strike it away. And it gives kind of cool effects that you can somehow do. And this is already made with a, a pre-brush, which is one of the first tutorials I made. <laughs> And uh, there we go. So it's really fun and easy to do as long as you got a really um, good texture to start out with. Start off with. So um, let me show you my finished product one. That's the one I made. Pretty simple, but hey, with different types and different type faces, you can have a lot of fun with it. So it's very very easy. Um, hopefully you learned something. And until then, take care and definitely look out for my website, Pashi.me, coming very very soon. Thanks, guys.